In this movie, I will show to you a small trick in order to use, without any problems, a system similar with the 3DR telemetry radio units with any PX4 quadcopter. Here I used a Hover Games drone. The family of 3DR telemetry units are cheaper and have a higher emission power. As you see, this module has 1000 milliwatts. After the quadcopter is powered up, the flight management unit requires at least 30 seconds to get a GPS lock. Here, please note that the telemetry unit is not connected, the serial link does not exist, and right now the quadcopter is ready, but it has no GPS lock. As a proof, the LED is blinking in blue. Ok, at this moment the RGB LED start to blink in, in green and we have a GPS lock in around 45 seconds. This is a standard way of operation for the PX4 quadcopter. Now we power up once again the Hover Games drone or any types of PX4 quadcopters. We see that this time the telemetry unit is connected and something very interesting is happening. The GPS unit is unable to get a GPS lock. Here, in this case, I waited for 3 minutes, but the drone was unable to get a GPS lock. You can stay for 10 minutes and the result will be the same. Sometimes, after a long period, you can get a GPS lock, but it is very rare this case. As proof, the LED is blinking in blue all the time. If you want to know the LED color codes meanings, please follow this link and you will find more information. A solution to this problem is to unplug the telemetry unit, wait for a GPS lock and plug it once again. After that the quadcopter will fly without any problem and function as return to home works very well. This is a practical solution, but it is not a correct and elegant solution. I think that due to these electromagnetic and harmonic disturbances generated by the telemetry module, the PX4 developer team discontinued the support for the 3DR telemetry unit. Now I will speed up the video in order not to waste time here. Let's now find a correct and practical solution for this problem. As you see, the solution is very easy to implement. Now we'll power up the drone. The solution is to wrap the telemetry unit and all the cables between the flight management unit and the telemetry unit using foot aluminum foil. In this mode you will build a Faraday cage that will block all the telemetry unit's electromagnetic fields. And in this mode the problem will be solved straightforward and elegantly. Based on this solution, the GPS lock is done in around 40 seconds. Now you have a long-range telemetry unit that does not influence the drone's operation in any unwanted way. If you want to analyze this problem of electromagnetic interference, go to the flight logs and there you will have the GPS noise and jamming records. Here, the jamming can be used as an indicator for the external interference. 
it varies from zero means no jamming and it goes up to 255 which means strong jamming. Here in the first figure placed in the upper part obtained without any telemetry unit shield the GPS jamming indicator depicted in green is very high. When the Faraday cage is used, the jamming noise is low. This result is presented in the figure from the bottom part. Thank you very much for your attention. If you liked it, please subscribe.